Hello guys and welcome back to the How To Animate YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be continuing on animating this dragon now, Apologies for not posting a video last week, I was away on holiday but I'm back now Hope you guys are doing well So first thing we're going to do is turn the spikes off this rig I've got them on the display layer If you are using this rig it's best to switch them off, it helps with frame rate And if you caught the last video you'll see that we added a flap layer So this is the flap cycle and we also added a side-to-side -side layer as well, which controls the amount of side-to-side -side motion, like so. So what we're going to do in this video is add a glide layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch off side-to-side -side for now. When we switch off flap, you'll see that it goes back to the base layer. Okay. So what we're going to do is switch this off. We are going to create a brand new layer. So we're going to select all of our NURBS controllers and hit this button here to create a layer. Now we want animation layer 1 to be under flat. So what we're going to do is middle mouse button and click and drag animation layer 1 and move it under flap. Now the reason we do this is this is additive on top so the layer on top takes priority over the ones at the bottom. Um, so what we're going to have is our flap layer, like so, and we're going to be able to dial this on and off and go into more of a glide, so we're going to have more control over how much flapping the dragon does. So switch off flap, uh, we're going to call this layer glide. So the next thing you want to do is make sure you have your glide layer selected and go ahead and create a glide pose. So you want something that's kind of similar to what's going on in the flap. Um, you don't want the spine to be too dissimilar, otherwise it, all, it won't blend nicely. So you want something like this, so the wings outstretch nicely. Um, you want them angled down ever so slightly, because they're still going to be catching the wings. So a pose like this will work just fine. Um, you want to make sure that you select your flap layer uh, right click and set it to layer mode override if you don't do this you're going to get some really weird results because it will try to add on onto this pose and it won't look right anymore so make sure you do that um, so th the idea behind this is if we play this now and select our flap layer we're then able to dial in different weights of flapping so this is going to help us create our final animation because obviously we don't want him always flapping at 100% you know we want him to sort of flap for a bit and then we're going to key the weight off down to almost this uh, we've also got the side to side control so if we add a bit of side to side you see that the glide starts to look a lot better and we can do a combination of both this is just giving us a whole whole load of tools here to play with once we start actually creating our final animation. Right, the next layer we're going to create is going to be the noise layer. So as this dragon flies about, especially during the glide, um, it's going to be having turbulence. You know, a lot of wind's going to be coming against it, so a lot of stuff is going to be shaking. Um, so we want to build in a layer to control that as well. And it's up to you. You could do it on the glide layer, um, or what I prefer to do is create a new noise layer so we're able to de uh, dial in turbulence during the flap as well. So we're going to go ahead and create a new layer. So select all the NURBS controls and click this button again to create a new layer. And we're going to rename this layer as noise. We're going to leave it on top of all the other layers and it's going to be an additive layer. So a quick way to do this is to select all your controllers and set a key on zero. You then select these keys and go to curves, post infinity cycle and pre infinity cycle. Um, if you then go along and every two frames just set a key like so and you want to go up to about there I'd say. Then it's just a case of going through each controller. So we're going to start off with the hip control. Okay, and then what you want to do is just very slightly 
nudge everything. So go across like so. And just do translates and rotates and just give it a slight nudge. The more random you can make this the better and also don't be afraid of going too far with the noise because this is going to be on its own layer and you're able to control the weight afterwards. So you should end up with something that looks like this and you're going to repeat this process for all the controls so I'm going to do that off camera now. So here's the final noise layer. This is at 100% obviously we probably never use it this extreme and this is like in a dive or something but obviously we can key the weight off um, so you see it just adds a nice bit of uh, detail obviously you can spend a lot of time doing this the more random you make it the better um, but it's literally just a case of if going through each controller and just every two frames just giving it a little bit of a wiggle and you're looping front and back anyway so you'll just get this effect um, so if we dial a bit of flap on as well, you see it works nicely with a flap. And uh, yeah, so that's that's the noise layer done now. So uh, that concludes this video. In the next video, we're going to add a couple more layers for banking left and right, and then we are ready to actually start our final animation. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you was able to follow along and understand. If you've got any questions, please feel free to write them in the comments and don't forget to give this video a like if it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.